Hello, America, and hello, Georgia. I'm Vernon Jones, former state representative from the great state of Georgia, and I'm out doing my normal morning jog. By the way, it's a great day to be in Georgia. It's a beautiful fall day. But anyhow, I just had to pause for the cause. I, like many of you, observed and listened and watched Barack Obama last night as he addressed black men. But as a black man, he did everything but address us. What he did, he did men, he rebuked black men, he even stole the black men. Primarily because we will not fall in line and vote for Madam Lock Upper Brother Kamala Harris because that's her race. As if black men are too stupid that we can't vote our self-interest, what's best for us, our pocketbook, our families. As if we've been immune to the past three and a half years, as if we don't know that gas prices have been higher under Kamala Harris, food prices higher under Kamala Harris, interest rates on home mortgages higher under Kamala Harris, and run under Kamala Harris. But you know what? That's what the Democratic Party did. They dispatched Barack Obama out there to whip black men back on and to vote. And you know, President Obama, he meant a lot to black people, but he didn't do anything for black people. And for him to want to come down from his mansion in Martha's Vineyard and tell black men how we should vote, really? You don't even live in Chicago anymore. You left your black community, Barack Obama, and you want to tell us how to vote? We're not having that. Hey everyone, welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel, The Mix. Go ahead and smash that like, share this video. Those who have yet to subscribe, smash that subscription button. It is free to like, it is free to share, it is free to subscribe. Most importantly, listen to this video. Yes, from beginning to end, I won't keep you all long. If you are interested in donating, you can hit that cash app. That's down. You see the cash app here on the banner. Further donation information is in the description section of this post. Sale, cash app, etc., etc. You are going to drop some comments. Keep it respectful and peaceful in the chat. Thank you very much. Now, let me jump right into the topic. This is the weekend. Um, just kicking off and all of that Friday night. Hey, just got paid. As you can see what this video is going to be about so based off of that clip I played in the beginning. Yes, former President Barack Obama out here politicking for Kamala. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But, uh, but Kamala, for those who want to vote for her, good for you. For those who don't, who are not, good for you. For those who may not participate in the voting process, uh, hey, good for you. You know, so here, over here on the mix, I, we I advocate and I encourage free thinking and doing what's best for you, what you feel for you and your family. And there's, we, we're not judging over here. We're not judging over here, <laughs> you know, so, but yeah, so you heard that clip in the beginning where the fellow was saying they see that Obama was dispatched to get the black folks in check. What do you all think? What do you all think? I'm going to go ahead and share a couple clips with you guys. I'll head on over to X and show you guys where all of this originated from. <laughs> Jump into some comments and the chat and all of that. <coughs> Excuse me, you guys, I'm still, you know, my cold. I just, I'm not at 100%, but I'm not where I used to be. So that is a blessing. But take care of yourselves, you guys. Um, rest is, is very important to your mental and physical health, you guys. So, but yeah. Anyway. Yeah, so what do you all think about um, what he was saying in the beginning um, about his input, about, you know, Kamala Harris and about voting, his choice, his preference, and all of that. And also, most importantly, about former President Barack Obama being dispatched <laughs> by the Democrat Party and Kamala Harris to get folks together, I guess, quote unquote. You know, so, but let me know your thoughts, you guys, uh, down in the chat. I have more, like I said, to share with you guys on X, formerly known as Twitter. So let me head on over there. And then um, after all of that, I'll come back with my final thoughts, commentary, reaction, and opinion. Okay. I want to go ahead and share a screen with you guys. Head on over to X, formerly known as Twitter. I want to share with you all how this all started. <clears throat> See if I can maximize this. Should be able to judge Joe Brown. He has no filter. <laughs> I'm not gonna share what he was saying. Okay, you guys, this is where it started. Um, so the gentleman that I posted in the beginning, Vernon, former, I guess, rep or a political politician. Is that um, we have not yet seen the same kinds of energy and turnout in all quarters of our neighborhoods and communities as we saw when I was running. Now, I also want to say that that seems to be more pronounced with the brothers. So if you don't mind, just for a second, I'm going to speak to y'all directly and say that when you have 
a choice that is this clear. <clears throat> when on the one hand you have somebody who grew up like you, knows you, went to college with you, understands the struggles and pain and joy that comes from those experiences. You said to work harder and do more and overcome and achieves the second highest office. So they sent Obama to come get us and bring us back to the Democratic. <laughs> he like it. They sent Obama back to come get us. He insulted us. He said, y'all, he is so I was highly offended when he said the only reason we voting for Donald Trump is because um we don't want a woman in president, so we come up with oh, yo, yo speak for me. Yo speak for me. Yo speak for a lot of us. Yeah, you gonna tell us what we think, yeah. Come on, man. Oh me off, man. They hear you gonna tell us how we need to think and what we should think. Man, they hear you gonna bring Barack Obama. He gonna tell, he gonna play us. First, y'all call us low informed voters, uh, uh, low information voters, misinformed voters. Now you wanna come out and throw my mama in. That if my mom's was president, I ain't voting for. My grandmother could be. My mom, I wouldn't vote for them either. If they got the same policies. Get me off, man. Watching this video, and this dude gonna come up here and tell us how we need to think. Yo, get the f go back to the White House. Or wherever you came from. Now you want to address us like brothers. I ain't been your brother. Where would you at 2008? Now? Person says Barack Obama should be ashamed for berating, rebuking, and scolding black men because they won't vote for Madam Lock Up Brother <laughs> and Kamala Harris as if we are too stupid to vote our interests in what best for ourselves and our families. B O U O every black man in America and whatever that says. Okay. Okay. This person says, I still feel the burn. This is Vink. I don't know if he's still into politics. I'll have to do a little bit digging to see. Okay, let's so let's see what he's saying. Mm. I'm not gonna play that because it's music. Let me let me just let me mute this and then I'll play. Okay, here we go. So I want you guys to think about the last couple weeks and the attacks that have been men. Now watch this, not from white folks, but from other black men. When we got Magic Johnson, a black man, saying that black men should vote for Harris because that's the only acceptable choice. <clears throat> this is a man who has a black son who thinks he's a, you know, then we have the 40th of the United States. Coming out and saying that black men voting for Trump is unacceptable. Wow. He has the nerve to look in the eyes of black men who are out there working, out here working there off, blank off, grinding, taking care of their families. Mature, responsible men, spiritually true men, handling their business. This man that is worth some estimates of 75 million, and he's speaking about President Barack Obama, has then audacity to tell these same black men that it is unacceptable for you to vote any other way than what I tell you. Ooh. I'm just starting to think now, like, like seriously, like this is all, like this can't be seriously, y'all. We're like in some twilight zone where we're just, this ain't even real anymore. It's it's to the point uh, to where it's become redundant and just unless to talk about, useless to talk about, excuse me. It's amazing to me how dumb and just how gullible that they think we are. And the sad part is that many are just like that. <clears throat> It is really frustrating. Um, now, if a white man came out that is acceptable for him to vote a certain way, black folks would be all up in arms. Mm -hmm. All up in arms. You can't tell me that I am grown, a grown, but then we allow another black man to come out and tell another black man. A grown black man on top of that. <clears throat> Sorry for the question. That he can't. This is just like the like to me let me just say if there was a black man that was or the republican that was running for us black folks still wouldn't vote for black folks in a recent poll said they they wouldn't ever vote right it's kind of they wouldn't even vote they wouldn't oh can you believe that okay black 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 folks said that they vote for harris over condi what many communist rights like that stuff just becoming ridiculous it's just becoming ridiculous uh it's just becoming ridiculous it's just becoming ridiculous okay 
okay y'all y'all can read that on the playback <laughs> on your own accord but you get the gist these are reactions from ex formerly known as twins desperate because they know that americans do not want the policies they continue to push so all the american people are pushing back but what mistake they made is now latin america black americans muslim americans and second generation americans from let's see what this is it's from anywhere else have started to dig deeper because they pushed too far pushed too far too fast and it started making everyone question the democratic party as a whole and look at what trump's saying kamala said go to a trump rally well they did and they love what they heard <laughs> okay okay this person says they are in love with trump rallies actually <laughs> okay uh sorry you guys look like i saw a net i can't stand those little pesky things everyone loves trump. at least once they have <laughs> been to one Oh my gosh, they're going to make me want to try to go <laughs> want to see. I, I mean, hey, you never know until you go and see. See for yourselves instead of hearing about it on television or hearing about it from someone else. Okay, this person, this person said, your vote should always be earned on merits, not race, not gender. Merit. There will be a time for a great woman president. This is not the woman. She certainly doesn't merit your vote. Okay, you guys. Oh, sheesh. Um, Thank you guys for um tuning in to the mix. Like, share, subscribe, like, share, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts. Again, that was from X, some posts and reactions from X, formerly known as Twitter, regarding the lecture i guess quote unquote <laughs> president obama you know he's on the stomping grounds out in the out in the field out uh, boots on the ground politicking for the democrats and kamala harris so that um video that's going viral which i share with you guys is is a lot of people don't are not taking too kindly of it especially within the black community um based off of the reactions i've been seeing thus far on social media platforms even on um, youtube so yeah um will you all be listening to and this is for black people or anybody will you all be listening to former president barack obama obama on who should you vote for. <laughs> I know he came to Chicago when Rahm Emanuel was running and um, was trying to uh, and basically encourage Chicago citizens, constituents to vote for his buddy, Rahm Rahm. <laughs> I remember that. And um, yeah, Chicagoans, to my understanding, is, is a lot of them basically to my understanding is trying to flip the state red <laughs> total state this total state red and chicago red but we shall see what the election will bring uh you guys but yeah but like this video share this video you guys okay everyone so what are your thoughts drop some comments in the chat what do you think about what um Vernon said in the beginning and um, some of the comments I went over on X formerly known as Twitter are you going to listen to former President Barack Obama as he hits the campaign trail for VP Kamala Harris and the Democrats are you are you <laughs> are you gonna let somebody pull a rank over you and let you know what you should be doing for yourself your household and how you feel the country should go <laughs> no nah, but um I always say this you guys are here on the mix as I said before in plenty of other my videos Educate yourselves, do what's best for yourself, your family, your household, your future, your taxes, your finance, your retirement, all of that. Do what's in the best interest of your yourself. You know, don't allow anyone to bully you or manipulate you into voting. Educate yourselves and become a more informed voter. If you participate, fine. If you don't, fine. You know, that's your prerogative. It's a democracy. And then if you also, if you were to participate, there's other presidential candidates on the ballot. That's why this is a democracy here in the United States. If there was no other options, you only would have those two. Forget how the votes are being split and all of that and electoral and, and the electoral college and all of that and how um, they will say, well, if you vote for a Green Party candidate, then that's taken away from one um, candidate. So who cares? Do what's in the best interest for you. If you feel the uh, uh, someone did not earn your vote, then hey, don't vote for that person. If you feel that you just don't have a choice, if you don't like the options, sit it out. You know, so but I just encourage everyone when you make your own choice, make it for yourself. Don't allow no one else to do it. You know, so I encourage that here on the mix, free thinking, educating yourself, conducting your own due diligence, you know. So but yeah, you guys, let me know your thoughts down in the chat. Sorry for the glitching on that. I was sharing my screen. My apologies. Um, new program I'm testing out, as you can see. <laughs> and I think I just need to get uh, um, some new. Uh, I think I need to up my Internet speed, <laughs> which will cause. So excuse me. Feel free, free to donate, you guys. Cash app and Zayo. Yes, 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 yes. But yeah, thank you guys for um, tuning in to the mix. Again, like this video, share this video. And I will talk to you all soon. Bye.